Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the second to last episode of Blasted Oasis. So you'll notice the top there. So you'll notice at the top there it's day 74. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through the uh, the uh, Cracker Book uh, HQ. That I thought it was the Higashi Tower that had the uh, uh, quest for it, but it's not. It's the uh, it's the the um, Cracker Book HQ. So we're going to do that today. That's going to be the only building that we're going to do before the end of the series. So we're going to do that today. Uh, we've already done this one twice in the last series, so I'm just going to go ahead and go go ahead and do this one this series. But before we do that, let's have a look at the house. So it's been several days, several offline days of me working on this place and only working on this place. I thought I heard a zombie here. So I've been trying to make it look at least half decent. Uh, we've got the trees on the outside now to kind of block out some of the uh, the um, um, crappy debris here. But if we have a quick look around here, uh, you'll notice I've kind of kind of finished the driveway. I was going to put a sidewalk all the way around here, but it was just like, I, 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 anyway, it just resource, everything is resource intensive and time intensive, right? So, uh, I was just really focusing on the main part of the base. So we got the dirt placed all the way around and I was hoping it was going to turn in to be like, turn up to be grass, but it just stayed as dirt. And if I do turf, which is like, basically the ground I end up with this and this like grassy patch so but even though it is this is rubble it actually comes in like this uh, it shows up like that as dirt over here so it just returns it back to a normal so I just left it as regular dirt I guess I'd love to have green grass but I guess it's not possible in this biome so what can you do so the, we, I finish off the uh, the driveway here and it is reinforced concrete all the way along here now this isn't all steel it's only like kind of around the edge here and then I painted these here these are con like reinforced concrete slabs as, as well as all the way around the outside so the base is all painted now we got this part painted I got the street lights put in around here this one doesn't work I haven't got it wired up and I don't think I, I don't, don't think I'm gonna need it but these ones here are great because they shine a big pool of light straight down in here. So when the Horde Knight comes, we're going to be able to see the zombies really easily. You can see I've got all the uh, um, blade traps hooked up. And these things, I, I threw them on for a bit just to see how it worked. And boy, do they suck gas. So I got a second, I have to have, I had to have a second uh, generator bank just for these. Uh, these are made of wood because I couldn't get concrete slab or I, I could have made these reinforced concrete but there was no point I just made them uh, wood and that's to cover the little there's like a uh, divot there between the concrete and the dirt uh, much like there is out front so I just put this in like that and I missed painting part of it damn it I hate that um, so yeah so that's uh, that's what that is just just wood then I finish all the paneling on the side uh, I finished all this up here, so it's all like everything is painted now. Uh, so if we go out this way, right, you can see the side of the building's all painted. Oh yeah, we made this today. We're gonna take this out today. I made that last night. Uh, so yeah, and the uh, the farm is all set in. It's all caged in now. We got a little door that leads out to the roof. So let's go upstairs, have a quick look. What I've done inside. So this is all painted now. I replaced the land claim block, threw it down in the basement. Put a chair out here, some AC units, blueberries, hardened chest. So this will be whatever we, whatever stuff we have left over from the Horde Knight, we'll just toss in here. Then we'll go down and, and do what we're doing downstairs. Um, yeah, so this is all painted. The door goes out to the roof. I got a second um, SMG turret now up and running to kill vultures on the Horde Knight because it's going to be a full 64 zombie horde night so it should be a little crazy this is all painted all even down inside here it's all painted so let's go back inside oh yeah this is done too uh, it's not perfect I mean it's okay I kind of like the roof being this kind of style uh, but once again there's parts missing and things like that but it's what you'd expect to see if there, it was an apocalypse nothing would be absolutely perfectly done so that's all done we got these doors made and put in here so now we've got half decent looking doors here. I thought about pulling these out, but that's kind of from the original building design, so I kind of left them. There's not a lot left from the original building design, like this light is left over. 
these frames here are left over. The general shape is left over, but you know, a lot of this has been redone, right? So that's all that's kept. But I re repainted the roof and everything. We got a little loft up here now. I was working on getting a proper bed in here, but I need cotton. And I don't I only have two cotton seeds, so I've only got like 14 cotton and I need 40 to get a double bed in here. So it just I just didn't have the number of like it takes two days for the for the cotton to grow for me to get like four cotton. So it just I didn't have time enough to put a bed in here. But you know we got our ammo racks up here, our empty empty armor rack, our table or, or our desk and chair and everything. Little light that works up here. I'm gonna turn this off. Let's go down here. Let's turn this on. Turn my head headlamp off. Get this on. The batteries are getting sucked dry here real fast with all the lighting that I've got now. So, but yeah, it's look it's looking pretty cool in here. I mean, you guys saw this before. Wait, this light. Turn this light on now. Uh, you guys saw this before, but now it's all painted. You know, I painted that all chip wood, even though it's reinforced concrete. Got some. I got a window in here now, so we can kind of see out. Um, the doors I put. I did blue so that it's all blue here, but it's not like once again, it's like the walls just not finished, right? So. It looks like it's just partially completed. Got a little cubby light in there. The danger trouble light in the hallway here for when the, if there's like if the horde comes in. I got that on. I turned all these guys off down here because we were draining so much power. But let's just get these back on here. Switch these lights back on. We'll be turning it off before we go. I left that one on. All right. So the decoration down here. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, is it perfect? No. I, had, I was going to leave the dumpster as a reminder of what this place used to be, but then I figured it just looks like hell, so I pulled it out, moved the workbench from there, put it over here. So we've got a little bit of a fireplace, a little bit of an ale thing here going on. Our couch, we've got the TV up there, you know, stack of wood for the fireplace. I was going to get some chairs, put them around here, but then I figured, you know, in the apocalypse, the table is really not going to be used for eating at, most likely. So I just put piles of like ammo and stuff on here. This is probably where we'd be eating most of the time, just sitting here and eating here. Got a little um, TV up there. And then the kitchen is, you know, as it was. Got our pill case. This is all our, our good food and everything, which reminds me I'm going to go ahead and use one of these and use one of these while we're here. Because we're going to need those for today. And of course the working stove and the working faucets. Nothing in the fridge. Mushrooms up on the wall. So yeah, that's this place up here. Now the downstairs didn't really change. It's still the same down here. I have no lights or anything down here. It's just basically where we had our vehicle thing. But yeah, this wall actually got knocked out by accident. I wanted to put the car down down here. It said it could, it said it could do it. And then when I put it down, it knocked this wall out and a bunch of stairs. So I had to replace that, but I didn't replace the wall. It's no big deal. All right, so that's the inside. So yeah, I mean, it looks all right. It's kind of homey, you know? I think some of it turned out okay, some of it didn't. Um, but it is what it is. If I was doing this from day one again, um, don't know why I'm still doing this. If I was doing this from day one again, uh, I might do it a little differently. But uh, for now, it is what it is. Let's go and put another the only thing I haven't got installed is the dart traps. Well, that's like six minutes, eh? There we go. Get another 500 out of here, too. Yeah, the only the only reason why I haven't got the dart the dart traps installed, we're going to take some of these with us today, uh, is because um, I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to run with them on Horde Night or not. Oh yeah, we're going large today, by the way. We're bringing this with us. Uh, we're going to leave the SMG here. Now, this has got the drum mag, rad remover. Oh yeah, we're good. So we're leaving that here, bringing this with us. Because I want to I want to be calling in screamers and everything today. I want to see what we can... Whoops, not there. We can get to show up at this base today. Take four of these. See if that's enough, I don't know. Parakits are coming with us. We're not going to need a lot of this stuff, but... Should I take one more? Nah, we're good. That's plenty of ammo. Plus, we got the grenades. So, yeah, that's this place. Let's just turn this off now. Because you can see the batteries draining like crazy, right? You just... Like, without without being able to get oil shale, it's just not worth it. 
So I had to put a second generator in here and this burns through gas like crazy too, right? So this generator is hooking up all of the blade traps and I had to put a uh, switch in here for the far blade traps because it just wouldn't reach from there. So we have all, what, 10 of the blade traps hooked up to the generator bank plus this switch. This switch also controls the main lights out here. Uh, so we can turn it on or off if we want. And then this one is just a regular switch. This is the second um, set of barbed wire fences. And this one controls the inside wire here in case we have to fall back, which I don't know. I, 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 I think I'm gonna try and stick it out for the horde and stay right there and not, not leave. So, but we'll see how it goes. I think we'll probably be okay. All right, now let's get, oh, we got, you still got uh, AP ammo on you. That's good to know. I thought it wasn't going to have enough AP ammo for the horde. There we go. Ah, uh, we got plenty. I just got to make sure that demolishers don't blow up. So I've been, oh yeah, the other thing too, I got to show you my skill points here. Actually, let's just um, turn off, uh, we'll leave the headlight on, we'll turn the weapon flashlight off. Hey. There we go. Uh, so yeah, so as far as skills go, I've been taking the last, or putting my last few points that I have into uh, decree, uh, ignoring uh, zombie armor with firearms, just to get a little bit extra punch against the demolishers. Um, since it is insane zombies, um, we need as much damage as we can get against them, so hopefully this will really help out. We're still going to be using the AP ammo, but hopefully this will help out against them and we don't I mean I don't really I haven't really maxed anything out like you know what I mean nothing is really maxed out I mean Pummel Pete could go up again but it's not needed you know what I mean machine gunner we could have got up again but you know no big deal we did have to go this route though but let's just let's just go over to the uh, let's just go over to the um, building and uh, get this job done this is my first time riding this thing I haven't had a chance to ride it yet Actually, not bad. Will it go right up inside here? Whoa! Okay, I gotta hit that again with no lag. This is actually faster than a mini bike or the motorcycle. That's not bad. I like this thing. It handles pretty well, too. Okay, we're gonna put you right here. Uh, right there. Perfect. All right. Clear the area. Now, I want to bring down... We're going to leave... Hmm. Don't need the shovel up there. We don't need the axe up there. We might need this to break through some doors. I'm going to bring these down. And... I think that's all. Junk turrets reloaded. Don't know if we'll need to use that today. But we've got it just in case. I think I'm going to go in here loud and just see, just to see what happens. Time to come and get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. Ooh. So there goes a whole bunch of rounds. <laughs> We're gonna burn through this ammo crazy like. All right, let's get moving. Now, I think we need to go up uh, over there, I think, don't we? Anybody in here? Nope, any food though? Probably gonna need that for later. Uh, I'm gonna just grab like I would be grabbing things normally so like the nitrate powder will take like I don't like I, I don't foresee this series um, going past the next horde night for me I might play around after that so which is why I'll be picking a couple couple things up but other than that you know it was fun while it lasted. So, I want, I'm want i going to put a poll up, I think. Or at least 
you know, you guys can mention down in the comments. I'm thinking about my next seven days to die series of what I want to do. I've been really looking hard at the dark darkness fall mod. Um, so I might play through with that just to try it out and see how it goes before alpha 20 drops. Um, yeah, just to see what that's like and see if, uh, if I'll enjoy that. Or the other option was to, that's good. Don't need that. The other option was for me to do a, uh, extremely modded, um, seven days to die playthrough, like normal playthrough. So it would be the regular game, not seven, uh, not um, Darkness Fall mod, but just the regular game. And then, um, now these are, let's go outside. Right, okay, we're going up here. Uh, so yeah, just an extremely modded version of the game. So it would have all the mods I currently have. Wake up. Ooh, ass shot. Groin shot. Head shot. I think that's a wandering horde. Yep, I think there's some zombies outside. Anyway, yeah, so it would be extremely modded. I want to try and do... Anybody here? I want to try and do a series that's going to be like... Um, you know, I should have brought the sniper rifle. Oh well. Um, so an extremely modded series where it's just like either one trader or no traders. And um, if it's one trader, I want to do. Um, I want to try and find a mod where the 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 uh, trader can be damaged. So we can and. Uh, it can be damaged and it can we can actually uh, kind of go and live in there What are you guys doing down there? See this is why you bring these If I can actually bring it up here, where are you? I have no idea what they're doing down there. Fuck it. We're going. We're going. Somebody in the stairwell? I guess so. I'm right here, lady. Alright, let's go upstairs. So yeah, so we would be starting off, you know, and there would only be like one traders. Like one trader, and the building could be destroyed by zombies, so you'd have to be very careful about that. You know, and not uh, let it get destroyed. Start off in insane difficulty, so the zombies are really, really hard to kill. I think that's what I want to do, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to play Darkness Falls, I can do that too. But then if no one cares, you just don't care. Ooh. How did you miss me? That was a gift. Hey, Mo. Hey, hey there, Mo. I think they found a way up the stairwell. That's what I think happened. Let's close that. At least that way I can hear them coming. Alright, where are you? Oh, you're behind there. This is going to get intense real fast, I think. Oh, stop you dead in your tracks. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. Oh, we'll just finish it up. Nope, not quite enough. I'm trying to finish some of the uh, the last little book um, uh, book series because uh, we're still missing a couple of them. And grab some experience, same time. There it is, sniper's done. So does that, what does sniper give us now? Uh, yeah, you broke something over there. Question is, are you through? Sniper. Craft a ghillie suit. Full craft all 7.62 ammo. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh. 
Wow, he was just standing there, like, patiently waiting. That's a lot of businessmen. Here. Whoops. Hold that. Nobody else? Oh, there's you. Oh, come on. Oh, how did he get a piece of me? Oh, you didn't. It was these guys. Okay, the graphic glitch is like driving me nuts now. You're dead. You're dead. Give me a second to reload here. Yeah, I forgot that we got the penetrator. We can shoot right through these guys with the 44. Okay, so there's this weird... There you go. It's gone now. As long as you go back to whatever weapon it is that's glitchy, it goes away. But that's just so annoying. Well, we'll deal with it, though. All right, what's in here? Come on, wake up if anybody's in here. Nope. Nothing in there. It's been a while since I've been through this building. Um, I can't remember if this floor drops out or not. I know there's no room like this where the floor just drops out. Could be this one. Uh, nothing. And nothing. It could also be the way I'm, I'm quickly cycling through the... Uh, yeah, it is that floor. How quick that I'm cycling through the... Um, Weapons is what's doing it. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh, lockpick to make up for what we broke. Might as well just scrap this. I don't know why I care. Um, take those. Cupboards that aren't actually cupboards. What's this? Nothing that we need. Alright, not gonna look for toilet pistols. Hey, buddy. Did I hit you? Yeah, we got an abrasion already. Boom, firepower! Yeah, I'm getting sloppy now. Hello? Nobody here? Alright. Don't need that. Nothing here. Yeah, I'll take the wood, because why not? All right, so, um, let's do, uh, use you. Use one of these, and use this to make up for that. And scrap this. We got an abrasion, but I don't want to waste one of these kits just right now. Let's make sure we get this out. No water. I kind of like the uh, how I've been playing lately, where we just kind of rely on whatever we find where we're going, just to stay alive. It certainly makes it more interesting, you know. I'm gonna take those. Uh, you don't have any ammo. You're level five, though. Uh, we have a better one. Yeah, ours is better. It it just makes it so much more fun if you just have no idea. You know, if you're going to find enough food or medical supplies or whatever. Makes things a lot more scary. Alright, what have we got in here? Nothing we need. Okay. I think we got all the guys from this side. I think. Okay, nothing there. Gonna take the duct, duct tape in case we need to make a splint. We don't need that. Oh, that's nice. Perfect. Get rid of the abrasion for a bit, and we can throw the other one on when we uh, 
when that wears out anybody here in the kitchen or do we kill everybody already like that don't need the corn seeds anymore I think this is another book room is it not it is all right nothing nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing yeah I know we've already got that nothing and nothing all right well any food ah meow chow um, let's go ahead and just use this now might as well just get it out of the inventory Scrap that. We'll hang on to the water though. Actually, you know what? Let's just use it now. Why not? Yeah, so I mean, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I'm sure I've mentioned this before in the past. If you wonder why I'm a mouse clicker, like like a button clicker rather than going through uh, and pressing the keys for everything, uh, I don't have amazing dexterity in my hands. My hands from computer use, like I've been working on computers like forever. I didn't take the best care of my hands since I was like, I don't know, started working on computers like, I don't know, 30 some odd years ago. So it's a good example of why you should always like pay attention to uh, when people say, you know, have an ergonomic, um, ergonomic chair, ergonomic, oh, where are you going? You know, so, and not only that, as I've got, like, the nerves in my arms are, are messed up. So they, rather than traveling straight down my arm, they actually wrap around my arm. It's a bizarre thing to explain, but the, uh, so my nerves, uh, because nerves are what, how they are, they're not elastic, right? So it's not like they're muscles or something where, you know, if you stretch them, you're, you're fine. They're not meant to be stretched, right? So... Um, that's how people get nerve damage and stuff is the nerves. Oh, this is going to be the good floor. Let's get this out um, So where do I oh god everything just loaded in All right um, That's the nightmare room, but look at this well, you know, I don't know why I'm complaining this is not anywhere near as bad as the uh, Let's put you down It's not anywhere near as bad as the um, Shanway foods. Shanway I thought was pretty bad. Shotgun Masai was bad too, but I still think the Shanway was better simply because the pulls were bigger. You know, you're fighting more guys at once. Are you the only one in here? Oh, glory. That's actually pretty good for me. Uh, then let's bring you with me. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my nerves are messed up. So I don't have the best controls of my of my uh, hands at the best of times. So uh, I hear you. In a in a tricky situation, I, I can't be um, expected to be able to push the right button at any time. So when I started playing online, I learned to play really well just by like mouse clicking everything. I still remember playing uh, Lord of the Rings online. I was a guardian, which is basically the uh, guy that takes all the hate. So all the mobs pound on you while um, the rest of your team is doing damage to them. So I used to play the guardian. I used to be, I used to, used to, used to be mouse clicking all of my skills. <coughs> Excuse me. And I still remember the group I was with not knowing that for the longest time. And then when they found out one day, they were like, how are you even managing to do that? And it's like, well, I, it's not like I'm managing to do it. I have no choice. I have to do it. Oh, here they all come. It's the only way I can play. I'm trying to penetrate more than one guy here to save some ammo. Oh, that's a beautiful lineup. Line up, guys. Line up. Line up and take your medicine. Like good zombies. Oh, they broke through that door. Get out of my way! 
Making sure there's nobody behind me. Okay, reload this guy first. What's up, guys? Get back to work. This is what happens when you have a union meeting on business time. <laughs> I got nothing against unions. <laughs> but it's, it's, sorry, it's just... It's, that's the upper management comment <laughs> in me. Let's, let's use this. That's what happens when you you, uh, you try to unionize on, on company time. Ah... Uh, we need to make more money off you guys. Um, and I don't care either way whether you're for or, get, or against unions. If done right, they've got their place. Right? It's just, it just depends on how they're done. Like anything in the world, it all depends on how it's done. Did they? I guess we got everybody from here too. So that was a floor clearer. I think we got everybody. Wow, there's like no, no bookshelves usable here. There, yeah, Pistol Pete. Yeah, man. So what do we get for that one? Mmm, Pistol Pete. Shots fired at point blank. Ignore armor. Bullcraft 9mm ammo. Oh, I wonder if we should use uh, the SMG come Horde Knight. What does it mean by point blank, though? Like how, like how many meters are we talking about? Ooh, it's nighttime. Oh, I need to take that. Wonder how many meters they're talking about. Like two meters, three meters, five meters. What's what's considered point blank? I guess I'm guessing it's like one meter. But I wouldn't like I wouldn't say like Like if I was a, a weapon developer, I wouldn't say point blank oh, that's nice. If I needed it. I wouldn't say point blank was like within a meter. For me it would be like three like ten feet or three meters, something like that. I keep forgetting a lot of people that watch this are from the States, so it's like I should be converting everything to uh Imperial. Yeah, so if you don't know, um Um Three meters is ten feet. A meter and a yard are almost the same. Almost. Everything is just out by a little bit. Like it's really, it's like 3.3 .3 feet per meter. Roughly, not 100%. Ooh, we can buy stuff. Do we need anything? That's the question. I don't think so. I already got coffee. There's nothing in here that I really want. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just take one of these guys. All right, so we're gonna use some of the food here. Let's get it out of our inventory. Use this. Use that. That gives us a bit more water back, too. Go ahead and scrap these. We still got food left over, so I'm not worried. Alright, let's keep going. It's gonna get nice and spooky now. I never did craft a rocket launcher. Alright, now I know there is... a room here. That's where you're supposed to go. But honestly, like, if you're if you're not playing a stealth game, who's really going to be going that way? I'm sure as hell ain't going to be me. Zombies are going to be breaking through the doors. Yeah, my scroll wheels... I gotta work on the sensitivity of my scroll wheel. Yeah, I figure we got that now. Shotgun choke. Alright, um... Gotta work on the sensitivity of my scroll wheel. I think that's partially the problem. Anything in here? Not really. At least we know we can come back down if we need to. And this is a plug here? Yeah, right here. Can we get through? Yeah, we can. Because there's a box under here. Not much, but I mean, it's worth worth finding for like a couple hundred experience points. 364. Hooray for that. A couple things of uh, gunpowder. We'll take it. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing, too. And I did find nitrate powder. But I didn't mine any. And the reason why was, first of all, I found it off camera. So I wasn't going to go ahead and mine a whole bunch of stuff off camera. Uh, like, Because we have spent, I don't know how long in this series trying to find nitrate powder. 
So I wasn't going to mine a whole bunch of it off camera. Why is it just this one? Fine now. Uh, that plus I think I was enjoy I'm really enjoying having to find nitrate powder to make gunpowder. Right? Because if we were able to make just a shit ton of ammo and stuff, it would make this relatively easy. Well, not easy, but easier than what we've been playing. And I've, I'm enjoying the challenge, you know? Oh, hey. Uh, I'm up here, buddy. He jumps down and then just stares at me. Hey, Mo. Come on, buddy. Look at it. Look at it. Figure it out. No? Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore. So yeah, I didn't mine any nitrate powder. I got lucky because I, I broke... Um, I'm going to pull this out just in case somebody hears me here and I got to go crazy real easy, real quick. I broke um, a... Um, an iron node. It's in the iron mine behind the... Uh, construction site that's where I found it um, so I broke part of the iron node there and then I just saw the nitrate powder and I'm like ah oh, shit and then I thought oh yeah I can finally I can finally go ahead and um, make more gunpowder and then I just was like nah we've gone the entire series without nitrate powder to do it to use it right at the very last moment when we got a big horde coming and we've been fighting for survival, you know, um, through the whole series. And then we get to the end and just to be able to make whatever we want. It just seemed to me to be kind of cheaty. Because, I mean, this is like the blasted away. Oh, figures it's... Why? Ah, it's made out of wood. This is the blasted oasis series. We're supposed to be in, in hardships. Nerd tats, health bar... Covert cats. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these. That should half our time, yeah. Might as use this too. Might as well get our stealth on. Yeah, so I wasn't about to go ahead and uh, grab the nitrate powder. So I did have enough nitrate and coal to make a stack of a thousand, which I used to make pipe bombs and um, 762 ammo. The 762 ammo that I made was the armor piercing kind. Oh, for fuck's sakes. So th this is the other joyous thing you get with not having um, good dexterity in your hands. You're like, sometimes you just forced to do shit like this. That's fine, whatever. Um, I should be able to get in here, right? Crouch, creep through, and jump creep, jump creep, jump creep. There we go. I think this gives out too, if I'm not mistaken. There's nobody in here. So it's having that grenade on us. <sighs> really frustrating. There we go. I think the floor gives out in here too. So what I want to do, like if I do, if you guys decide you want me to do the other, um, like another normal, like natural series, that's not, um, that's nice. Take that. A little bit of foreboding there, I think. Don't need any of that. So if you want me to do like the regular seven days to die, I'll grab that too. Um, what I'll do is I want to throw in the compo pack of P POIs. Um, okay, I know which room I'm in now. Don't think that's going to help very much, but... Uh, okay, there's a bunch of guys over here. We got Mo sleeping right here. But yeah, if we do do it like that series with no trader, it means we won't get quests like this where, we'll, we'll, where we will be able to see the zombies. Which means it's going to make going through POIs at night like super interesting. Who are you shooting at? Mo. Hey Mo. You seem angry. There, I help you with that anger. Helped him with his anger. 
don't know if we got any more guys on this floor or up. This building's going pretty quick. I should have put the zombie speed on Nightmare. I don't think it would have helped. Well, it might have helped them a little bit. They would have been able to get up on me a little faster. But yeah, if we do do that, do it that way, then I want to have like the compo pack, so it's a bunch of POIs I haven't done yet. I, tend, I generally have a pretty good memory of like spatial areas, so if I go through a building once, I'm generally pretty versed with it. If I have to go through it again, depending on how long it's taken between uh, me going through it or not. All right, nothing there. Close this. Put this. Oh, no, let's not do that. Oh, it's just one. Yeah, so at least with the combo pack, it'll be wide variety. And I think the Darkness Falls would be interesting too because um, just the way the zombies spawn. Those two are down. Um, but I've been watching other YouTubers play Darkness Falls. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm not... It seems harder, but... And I know the zombie difficulty ramps up as you go along. But it doesn't seem harder. I guess maybe if I put the zombies, like, on insane. And gave them speed, it would be a hell of a lot more difficult. Leave the Horde Knights kind of how it's already set up to be. So I wouldn't amplify Horde Knights at all. Did I just hear a screamer outside? Why are you pointing at that wall? Is there like something behind there? Maybe we're supposed to come up this way. Yeah, I don't know, but I know I can make... I know I can make... Um, okay, this way. This way. I know I can make... Why am I going around in fucking circles here? Where am I going? Up this way. Okay. What an idiot. I know I can make the regular game difficult. Yeah, that's like... Hey, come and get the ammo pile. Are they all up on the roof? Like on the, is it the helipad? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been through here. I think there's like a helipad up here. Yeah. I don't think they're all up there. I just hope it doesn't... Oh, I remember this. You kind of go over here. There's a shit ton of birds. Right. They're kind of scattered. The easy way is to hop up on here and do it. Well, we brought them. Move. Did he survive the... Uh, oh, I don't know if it's that guy. I think she survived the... Um, is that it? That's it. Yeah. Man, I was hoping I was going to get up on the uh, on the helipad. There'd be a bunch up there that I could just lob a bunch of the grenades in and then just set one off. Oh well. Because there does come a certain point in this game where it... Um, where the difficulty just doesn't really matter that much. Like, once you get some half-decent weapons and stuff in this game... Like, even looting this stuff... It, like, I don't need any of this, right? So I know they I know they've been working in the game so that it's like day 70 um oh fuck oh well It's supposed to be like you know 70 days or so is when the end of the game is kind of supposed to happen Um but you know so I think it's like 70 days or 70 grand or something I think is what they're what they're working on for the storyline 
which isn't bad, but I mean, if you watch the YouTubers play, most YouTubers, you know, by the time you're at day 50, you've got more than 70 grand. At least I know I have. Well, this is unlocked. That's nice. Ooh, level 5 SMG. Chain mod. All right. Well, we can put that into here. This just gives you what? 10% chance to knock down opponents can be installed in clubs. But what does... Um, the weighted head do? Adds chance to stun and slow victims. See, I would rather have a slow, I think, than an ten extra 10% chance to knock somebody down. Especially when they're sprinting. Like, if they're sprinting all the time... You would, I think I would, and they're and on insane difficulty. The stun and slow, I think, is better than adding a percentage chance to knock down. Because you'd want to, like, at least if you slow them, you can get away from them. But that's just me. All right. Let's modify you. Complete. You know what? What time is it? 3.11. Guess where we're going. We're going to go to Hagashi Tower. We're going over to Gashi Tower to pick up some power converters. So I found a skull crusher and atom junkie in the and a purse here. That's kind of great. Kind of good thing. We got we got a crap ton of atom junkies for horde night. So I'm not worried about horde. We're just gonna eat a whole bunch of them before the horde starts. I'm gonna crank up the nighttime as well. Can we actually get down from here? I think we can. Because they broke through here, I think. Did they? Yeah. We're going to go over to Gachi Tower. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, use up a whole bunch of Atom Junkies. We're going to crank up the night time to like 12, like the maximum it can go, which is like 12 hours. Um, and then that way, when we're actually doing the... Um, go ahead and use that. And we'll use this guy. Um, that way when we're doing the... Um, uh, come on. There we go. That way the horde will be able to last all night. Whatever it's um, it's capable of. Holy shit! It's like I can't see a goddamn thing. Let's just pick you up then. And let's do this. That helps a little bit. At least that way when a bear shows up out of the uh, fog, we'll thorough, we'll, we will thoroughly be scared the shit out of. I think that's probably one of the very few buildings we've been through where a bear hasn't shown up. Alright, we're here. Turn that off. Alright. I hear them sleepers in here. Let's clear this place too. This is supposed to be a tier 5, but I don't... Yeah, the Shotgun Messiah and the uh, Shamway Foods both are like the uh, scariest places, I think. Simply because the size of the pulls, you know? The sheer number of zombies. I should be listening and not... Motherfucker's oh, still sleeping? Yeah, see, now I'm not going to be able to see... I don't have a radar to tell me where they are, right? That's how I wish it was. That's how I wish it was. What they should have for the quests is a little toggle button. So when you go through the POI and you think you've got everybody and it, you still haven't, you should have a little toggle button. That will tell you where they where they are. So you should be able to toggle the radar on and off. I see you still looking at me, you fucker. Look at that. You know what I mean? Like like so. You're having a hard time finding that last zombie. You can then just click the button, and it'll say, "Okay, here's where the zombies are," or at least give you that yellow dot to at least tell you roughly where it is. And maybe it only lasts for 10 seconds or something. You know? So then you're forced to go find them. And it, it, like, it activates every minute for 10 seconds. That's just a thought. I think it would make the game, you know, it would just increase the challenge level of the game. 
Because I know people were complaining that they couldn't find those last zombies. And I don't blame... I don't blame... Um, oh yeah, because we've already looted all this, haven't we? We haven't looted this, though. Um, I don't blame the fun pimps for not including something like that. Um, but then when you when you got your 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 player base getting angry that they can't find that last zombie and they have to break the quest because they have no idea where it is, then yeah, I, I can understand putting in the little radar. But then again, it should be a toggle, right? The radar should just be a toggle. So if you want to go through it and um, try and figure it out, then you then you can. I think we have to go back. Do we go up and then around, or do we go? I think we go up because we haven't finished looting this place. I think we got to the second level, and that was it. Die, you bastard. One thing that junk turret does, though, on higher levels is it slows the zombies down enough to allow you to get, like, prepped for them, you know? Just holds them at bay just long enough. Run out of ammo. That's all right. 104 rounds for this. Now, did we go through this already? We did. Right. Anything in here? We didn't look in this, though. Uh, okay, let's use that. Don't need the murky water. Put that back in there. We don't need the stone. Where did I get the stone from? Oh, I had to break through that block. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Let's go ahead and use this guy. I'm leaving the sham because it's just easier to see. Go ahead and scrap that. Oh, hey. That's got to hurt, huh? i going to feel that in the morning. All right, vending machine. Got any food? We got dog food. Go ahead and buy that. Ooh, eye candy for the end. Sure. Now I think there's... Oh yeah, this is the... Uh... Right. There's a bunch of dudes up there. Bunch of businessmen. In the... What is that? Karabu? Kuribu. What the hell? Whatever. I'm sure somebody will let me know what the hell that means, because I don't know what the hell it means. We're going to go there in a second. I just want to check out the rest of this. Nobody here. Excellent. Alright, let's go deal with these fuckers. we got a guy right there. You looking at me, you shifty fuck. Oh, I got that guy. Anybody up here? Yep. Just the one. Oh, just the two. Just the three. What the hell are all three of you guys doing back there? Ow. Three of them behind the bar. Well, lots of room back here, so why not? Probably hiding from zombies. Not anymore. And I think this floor we cleared too, right? Although I don't... I think we did. Yeah, we did. It's been so long since uh, I recorded those early episodes. Alright, we're going this way. It's morning now. It'll be easier to see guys. Which in a way is kind of disappointing because I, I, I enjoy it when you can't see people. Alright, well... Let's check this room first. Oh, we got a guy. Like I remember I can't shoot through the desk, so. Fuck you! Get out of my way.
Well, we can go ahead and break this. Where's the, uh, grab this. We can start making more junk turret ammo. Excellent. Nothing in there, because we've already been through this part. All right. All right. Now, that guy sounds real close. Um, what am I looking for here? Oh, yeah, this. Recipes, robotic turret ammo. Get a few, you got a little bit more on the craft. You're, where are you? Oh, for crying out loud. I'm almost out of 44 ammo. You work on that guy. Yeah, I remember now. We cleared out all the leather and stuff in here, and... I think this is where we ended it, too. Let's close that. Alright, cool. Uh, we go through all this, right? Yep. Okay, nothing here for me. Grab you. Yo, dude. Where's your friends? How much hit points does that have? Do you think you can break it for me? Well, let's just break it, kill this guy, and then go. Otherwise, he's going to end up coming up our butt. That just sounded wrong. Apologize for that. Unless that's the kind of thing you like, then whatever. Alright, come here, you. Come on. Knock you the fuck out. Alright, well. This is like... A, this is the offices, so... If this is me, I'd be rolling grenades into every fucking cubicle. In real life. Cause fuck these zombies. They're all gonna be at the end. One tight-knit fucking group. Nobody there. Wait, do we... See if I can jump across this. Oh, I can. I could've. Right, I remember this now. Yeah, we didn't we... Didn't we go all the way up here? And it turned nighttime on me? Hey! Now they're not in line. Come on. Pack up. Sounds like there's still somebody over here. Come on. Surprise, motherfucker. You know what it is? I'm so much. I was so covered in like zombie blood and guts and stuff that uh, he just assumed I was a zombie. Eh. Where do we go now? Through here. Oh. See, this is the time when. You want to bounce one of those in there. I think we got them all. Fuckers. <laughs> he just... It looks like he's massaging that guy's butt. <laughs> How many did we get? Four of them? Oh, that's not bad. You work on that wall. I'm going to open this, this wall safe, guys. Let's hope we get some 44 ammo because we're running short here. I did remember to, re to bring repair kits though. <laughs> oh yeah, I, 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 I forget, keep forgetting Higashi Towers. We've got like labs up above too that are like... 
got experimenting shit in them. Okay, nothing in there. Still looking for the remainder of the books that we need. Nothing actually. You know what? Let's grab one of you. Go ahead and recipes, duct tape, craft. Save an extra slot. Actually, should probably just go ahead and trash the, uh, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to scrap this because we've got duct tape and wood. I can always find cloth. That's no problem. Oh, hey, guys. How do I, uh, I think I had this problem before too, right? Come on, you guys. I don't want to waste ammo on you. Ooh. Wee bit of lag. Alright, I think I should probably, um... No, nope, fuck it. We're gonna go without it. I was gonna say we should put an oh shit, uh... An oh shit thing down there, but I'm not gonna bother. Toilet pistol. Just a piece of crap. Okay. I don't know if that noise... Oh, no, I was gonna say, I don't know if those guys were coming from... Why do you only have... Oh. I don't know if that... What the hell are you guys doing, you monkeys? Why can't I kill you? Besides the lag. What are you doing? What was so important? Ooh, I got like text messages coming in. Hang on one second. Oh, that's my wife. Hang on. All right. You know, it's funny when people like text message you and it's like, hey, hey, how come you're not answering? Hey, hey. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you there, hon? Billy, you who? Recording. Okay, I'm gonna scream up the stairs. <laughs> I love my wife. She's so fucking awesome. Oh, wait, this is... Where are we? Um... Where the hell are we? Nothing. We'll take that, just in case we get an abrasion. I got some dinner. Hang on one sec. Alright, we're back. Trying to figure out how much fish we're having tonight. Uh, okay. Uh, where were we? Trying to find my way through. Okay. Went through there. I have a feeling that Ooh, looting goggles. I know we could probably use those, but we're at a point where we're getting such good loot now anyway. The extra four levels or whatever the looting goggles give you I think is really irrelevant. I think they're kind of the best around mid-game. Yeah, this is where this guy was. Gunpowder. Well, oil shell, that's good too, because, like, we have none. It's shocking how uh, little fuel we have left. The vehicle... Like, all our vehicles burn through a crap ton of fuel. Did we check this one already? Nope. And, um... Then, of course, the, uh... Having to run the generators on Horde Night. If I was going any longer in this series, it would become a serious problem. Fuel would become a serious problem, and that would be the end of us, I think. We'd have to find other, more creative ways to deal with the Horde. And I like my base the way it is. Alright, where... Do we go from here? Oh, I think we have to go back out into the hall here. Right? Into here, and then we go up this way, don't we? Yeah, this is the, uh, you have to walk around to get up place. Um, what we do is we do shape, plate, a couple of those. Like that. 
these back to this because I know you need those more than I will the other things. And let's go with this guy. Now we go up. And then we need to jump across. And then we need to wait for the lag spike to finish. Oh, yeah. This place. Let's do this. Um, repair this. Repair this. All right, fuckers. I stirred up a bee's nest here. Wait for it. Wait for it. A little close. They were just that little little bit too close. She's down. Almost down. You're down. You're down. Almost not down. That's another white. Kenny's not quite down. They're both down. Radiated white. Was a radiated white. That might be it for this floor. Take a moment to reload here. Glad I made that ammo. Okay, got 120, 13. Looks like we're reloaded. Okay. No ammo in there, huh? Oh yeah, this is the labs. Okay, let's see if we can get... Uh, how much... We're not down that much. I wish I could find some honey, though. Got both of those. Um... Take you, and scrap that, make some more uh, ammo, drug turret ammo. That's, those are all great finds, man. Gunpowder, I'll take that. Oh, it's been so hard finding gunpowder in this playthrough. But we, we've managed, I mean, we've, we've had enough money to be able to buy all the ammo we've ever needed. I'm gonna go just go ahead and use that. Hopefully stop me from getting infected worse than what I am at 12% now. And we'll scrap this and we'll scrap that. Yeah, more gunpowder. Oh, that's nice, can use that. Yeah, man. 156 gunpowder so far. I should have hung I should have held on to the pipes. Oh yeah, this place. Do we roll one in here, do you think? No, nah, because they're just... Yeah, they're just... Each of them is in one of these. Did we get him? I thought he was radiated. No, I guess not. So just those two? Yeah, I think the bigger the bigger rooms are up above. Where well, there's like a room of six or something. Alright, nothing major we want here. I'll also take that. I also thought about doing a uh, a um, Canadian winter series where we play all in winter and the only clothes I'm allowed to wear our um, regular like, boots, shorts, uh, a hoodie, and the uh, Letterman jacket. Because if you've ever been to Canada and watched people sh outside shoveling snow, 
that's pretty much what they were. And if you think I'm lying, come on up here anytime when it's really, really snowy. And you'll see that I'm not. Because snowing, like when it's snowing out, right, it makes you hot. So the last thing you want to do is be wearing like heavy clothing. And it's Canada, so you're like, you don't know from cold. All right, we got anybody back here? No. Oh, we got a football player in there, though. Let's just uh, wake him up. I think that guy's downstairs. Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Ooh, they've come up from downstairs. I'll let, the, I'll let them break through there. It's going to give me a way to get out. Get out when I'm done here. That always makes it easier to get down when, they've, when the zombies break in from below. Ooh, we got a uh, safe here. Come on, guys. Let's just do that, just in case. Who, who are you? What are you shooting at? Sounds like there's about four of them, so it's not so bad. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so Canadian winter. Yeah, it's, you know, you're outside, boots, shorts, you know, hoodie, so you can put a hood up and uh, just a regular bomber jacket, whatever. Forget about parkas. Come on, you guys, break through already. Why am I so hungry all of a sudden? Oops, take that. What are they banging on? Oh, you know what? There's a whole nother level down there. That's what it is. There's a whole nother level of, um... They're like on the... They're like one floor down or something, probably. How many fucking lockpicks do I got left? Oh, no, they're breaking through there now. It's okay, those blocks have got 10,000 hit points, so... Or a thousand, or two thousand, whatever it is. It's not even through the door yet. Oh, fuck's sake! This is what I think of Wandering Hordes. Too bad there wasn't a way I could roll a grenade through there, but... You just like open it and then just tuck it through the <laughs> between the bars. Here you go, hold that, will ya? Oh come on. This one piece of shit lock. <sighs> um How much Oh we got SMGM too if we need it for the roof. Don't need that. Uh I don't understand why all of a sudden I got so hungry. Where'd the can go? Oh, here it is. Come on. Fuck it. Yeah, so the idea behind the Canadian winter is like that that would be like would be winter time, like the entire map would be winter. That would be all I would get to wear to stay warm. And then I have to find, like, all the mods that I can insert into my armor to uh, keep me warm. So I'd be freezing, like, all the time. What a waste. All that for this, eh? Move the ammo down there. Move the oil shale over here. Let's grab you. Reload you because you burned through, what, 30 rounds for nothing? Yep. Alright, we're reloaded here. Reloaded here. Moving on. Wow, this is like a great place to come for gunpowder if you can't find any. Oh, finally. Go ahead and use this too. I wonder if it adds on or if it stacks here. Oh, yeah, it does. Beautiful. I wonder if that was what makes you uh, hungry. 
Oh, yeah, I remember the last time I was through here. We had a horde come up and they were breaking through this wall here. I also remember a ton of guys coming from down that hallway. Alright, um... Is there an easy way in there? Yeah, through there. Just need to find a way to get through there. Okay, we got the guy. I think whoever was in here broke out, probably. Oh, that's useless. Nothing up there. Nothing down there. 55 rounds of that left. Let's go back to this. Okay, this is where these guys broke out of. Which means these rooms are... Probably clear. Maybe clear. Not clear. Come on. What are you doing? Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to one-shot female zombies. Who? Did that go right through the glass? I guess it did. So we got Cletus over there. And that's it, I think. Let's bring this out. We'll deal with him. Free hugs. There you go. I think these room back, rooms back here are clear, too. So let's just quickly search through this. Wow, man, look at all the gunpowder we've got so far. 410. Doesn't seem like a lot, but when you can't make it, it's like, this is a shit ton. It's only like... We'll take that with us. I can't remember how much it is per pipe bomb. Use that. Scrap that. Yeah, I don't remember how much it is for pipe bomb. I think it's like 8 or something, or 12 per pipe bomb. Somewhere around there. Well, these guys did a number on this room in here. Ah, let's just scrap that. We're going with grenades today. We're not going with pipe bombs. Uh, how long will it take me to break through with this? I don't feel like switching tools, so... <laughs> yeah, all that for a toilet. With nothing. Now, um... See what we got here. Uh, let's just go ahead and use that now. We're full already. Nice, we're back up to max. That's awesome. We don't need the glue. Any food? No, but we got some more junk turret ammo. Don't need that. Definitely take that. Uh, is there a nurse in here? I remember there being somebody in this room. Yep. Well, there was somebody in the room. God, it's going to be a whole bunch of stuff we don't need right now. What if I should just leave this? Don't need that. Whole empty can. There's a lot of empty shelves in here, too. Would have been nice if these were full, but apparently not. Fort Bites. These do... Damage mitigation. Water minus 30. Yeah, now you can keep those, I think. Alright, let's switch around. Water minus 30. Let's go ahead and use this. Alright, another 110 gas. That'll give us, what, 1% something? something? Alright, nothing there. Alright, so... How can we slim down? We don't need you... Um, let's use the yucca, and we can ditch this. I'm gonna go ahead and use the skull crushers. It does give us five food because we're starting to run really low now. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be using learning elixir on the horde night. We don't need to this time, so go ahead and scrap that. All right, let's hope we can find some more food in here. Plenty of um. Yeah, there's plenty of, uh, what do you, whatchamacallits, but no food. Cupboards. Alright. I think this is it, and then we go up from here. Oh, hey guys. 
They're going up. I guess they'll meet me upstairs. Sure, you guys meet me upstairs, man. Alright. Actually, we have to go through that way. That's the way we get upstairs, so... I guess they're gonna be, uh... In our way to get upstairs. Okay, we'll take the 20 rounds. Definitely usable. Uh... Yeah, let's just take these. Uh, what else? Nothing there. Okay, we got these piles here still. Nothing to use. 50 gunpowder. That's beautiful. More aloe cream in case we need it. We don't need the acid. Food. No food. Food. Empty can. I guess they ate everything before they uh, bailed out of this place. That sounds like what? Three? Four. I love clipping their legs and then just let them roll to their death. All right. Well, we're going up here. Floor five, starting off with the Vendo. Uh, there is Sleepy Boys. Oh, you know what? I'm going to turn this off for a second. The last time we came through here, there was like a spider zombie. There's a whole bunch of zombies in there. So we just take this guy. Roll that in there. Oh, he didn't appreciate it. Hey, what's up? You're not dead. Yeah, we're, uh... Alright, let them come through there. You're still alive, huh? Not anymore. Come on, break through, big boy. Got something for you. As much as I'd love to, like... Shoot you. I think it's better if we just do it that way. All right, I'm going to pause here for a second because I need to eat dinner and I'll be right back. <laughs> 